Near the top, at about the 2 o'clock position, you see a canyon. You can see a long, linear feature, and you can actually, at the very top, see kind of a notch where you're looking through to the space on the other side. And that canyon is really quite deep. It's about four to six miles deep. Um, I find that fascinating. <laughs> So it's a, it's a small world with deep canyons, troughs, cliffs, uh, dark. It's, the heart is a, is a, a good name but of Pluto, and this is now, we are calling this Tombo Regio. <laughs> Zooming in on this area. Here's the image, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> um, the most stunning thing about this, well, there's many stunning things, but the most striking geologically is we have not yet found a single impact crater on this image. This means this is a very young surface um, because Pluto is being bombarded by other objects in the Kuiper Belt, and it's bound, craters happen. Uh, so we just eyeballing it, we think it has to be probably less than 100 million years old, which is a small fraction of the four and a half billion year age of the solar system. Uh, it might be active right now. Uh, with no craters, you just can't put a lower limit on how active it might be. Um, uh, these mountains here that we're seeing were quite spectacular. These are up to 11,000 feet high. Um, there may be higher ones elsewhere. Um, now, we know the surface of Pluto is covered in a lot of uh, nitrogen ice, methane ice, carbon monoxide ice. You can't make mountains out of that stuff. It's just too soft. It doesn't have the strength to make mountains. So we are seeing here the bedrock or the bed ice of Pluto. Uh, we're seeing the icy crust, uh, water ice, is strong enough at Pluto temperatures to hold up big mountains, and that's what we, we think we are seeing here. Is just rotating on, so this, is, this was a little while ago. Could I have the next time step? This is an overlay of LISA data, so what I did... That can't happen on Pluto. There is no giant body that can be deforming Pluto on an ongoing regular basis uh, to heat the interior. Sharon is just too small to do that. So this is telling us that you do not need tidal heating to power ongoing recent geological activity on icy worlds. That's a really important discovery that we just made this morning. <laughs> I'll take a crack at it, sure. Um, yeah, I think it could be a game changer. We Tidal energy due to breaking into orbit around Neptune could have uh, been powering uh, the activity on, on Triton. So that may have been the case for Triton, but it can't be the case for Pluto, and now we've settled the fact that these very small planets can be very active after a long time, and I think it's going to send a lot of geophysicists back to the drawing boards to try to understand how exactly you do that. So I know uh, this is 